Hi, I'm Wire. Welcome to Wireworks. Hey everybody, it's Wire here. Um, I'm back uh, after a couple of months of sabbatical here. I uh, appreciate everybody being patient while uh, I was taking care of some uh, things. Um, I've been working a lot of overtime and uh, I think I, I may have mistaken uh, in my last little post there about going to hospital for tests. It wasn't me that I was taking, it was my wife. Um, she, um, she suffers from CML and the uh, chemo that she was taking for the last few years stopped working and they put her on something else and we just had to uh, see how that uh, new medication uh, affected her um, blood count. So uh, fortunately I got, um, it, it was a positive outcome, her blood counts are down and uh, she's stable so uh, I'm happy for that and uh, pretty much well that's why I was away for a while. I was kind of worried about her and uh, really wasn't in the frame of mind of doing any videos. But uh, everything's back to normal hopefully and uh, we're going to start making videos again. Anyway, uh, what we're going to start with uh, are, co uh, are uh, these coins and coin key. Uh, these are print. These are for the uh, letterpress industry, and what it is, it's it's to um, pretty much well um, lock your type into into a chase so you can put it into a press so um, you can print from it. And I use them for something differently. And uh, I'll show you what I use them for. I have another one. I don't know what I did with it, but we're going to clean them all up, get these all nice and shiny, uh, so um, we can, well, so I can show you what I do with them. Anyway, uh, we'll be right back uh, when I set this up. We'll start cleaning these up. This is Wired Wireworks. Okay, we're back. Um, here we have, here we have it all the rust knocked off of it. These things, they look a hell of a sight lot better than what they used to be. Um, these were left over from when I had my printing company uh, back in the um, 90s, 80s and 90s. I did have a printing, I did own a printing company for about 20 years. Um, I was a printer for about 40 years before I got into locksmith business. Uh, I've only been doing locksmithing for about uh, 12 years, but this is some of the stuff left over that I had. I learned printing back in the 60s when there was just about letterpress where um, you set one one letter at a time. It's all high tech now. It's all computerized and you set everything up on a computer, which um, I think is a lot better now than it was back in the old days. So um, what I want to do is um, I'm going to... Um, Try to get these a little bit more polished. I really don't want to take too much away from these because basically this is what they're supposed to look like. But I just want to clean them up a little bit more. I'll uh, put them on the belt sander and then we're going to buff them up. 
and then um, I'm going to show you what I use them for. So uh, let me set the um, belt sander up and knock knock some of this uh, patina off, and uh, I'll be right back. It's a wire from Wireworks. Okay, here they're all done, buffed up, and uh, you know, I knocked some of this stuff off. I, I really didn't want to um, buff these up too good or get them real shiny because they're supposed to be this way. And the reason why they got to be this way is because they got to be able to be put together. And when you have them in a the chase, you need to be able to turn this and lock up. The chase to hold the um, furniture and the type in. Um, if it's smooth, it's just going to slip out. I didn't do anything other than clean the inside and wire brush the inside tracks of these because that's what makes these things grip. This has to be a little rough out here in order to um, grip into the wood, which we call furniture in the printing industry, so it doesn't move. So. I just basically wanted to clean this up. This looks 100% better than it did before. So I'm going to show you what I use these for. Uh, I'll be right back. Let me get rid of this um, wood and um, I'll show you what I do. Okay, as you can see from the 
uh, following pictures. Uh, these are what these are used for uh, in the letterpress industry. Uh, the metal frame around uh, the type and the uh, wood is called a chase. And what you would do is you would uh, insert your type and uh, where you want it in, you know, in, in position inside the chase. And you put this wood around it and then you leave enough space for these coins to insert on the top and on the side. And once you have everything down in there, you would uh, uh, plane the type down with a, a, a mallet and a wood plane. Then you would tighten these uh, coins up uh, with, the, um, with the corn key. And that pretty much all locks everything into place. Uh, and you can just lift the chase up and put it in your printing press and uh, um, get your press set up uh, to print. But this is what these are used for. And in the next clip, I'm going to show you what I use them for. Okay, I'm going to show you what I use these for. Uh, whenever I'm doing a woodworking project and I got a board to plane or sand or whatever, um, what I do is I put my dogs in, put the uh, piece that I'm going to work on, use a little bit of what I furniture to build this up. And what I do is I put these in here like this. This way I can stabilize the wood that I'm working on. And it holds it right in there. So if I want to sand something or do a little bit of planing with my hand planer or something. Um, just for a little piece of wood. Um, just for this setup. I mean, I use the other ones if I'm using a longer piece. Um, but this is what I use this for. And it does not move. So, um, this is something that I kept throughout the years because I've always had a... Uh, not a problem, but uh, uh, well, I've had a always wanted to figure out a way to hold these small pieces of wood other than putting a dog in and holding it down or clamping it in but this works really well with me so if you guys ever run across something like this in your travels pick them up they work real well for these small woodworking tools or even if you do a little metal work or wood burning you can hold that piece of wood in or um, metal if you're um, if you're engraving metal it works really well so I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, thank everybody for watching, and uh, God bless everyone. This is Wired Wireworks. See you guys.